Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. There are a lot of breaking changes or rather I would say there are a lot of new changes in Angular 17 that every developer must know. As part of this series, I am covering every use case, every feature, every functionality of Angular for you to learn and master Angular with me. Let's get started. This is part 42 of the series. Today we are learning about Router Outlet. It's a very important concept, especially when you are working on a large enterprise applications. You will find yourself often uh, working and using Router Outlet heavily. And it's important to have that foundation ready and to know what exactly it is. Without wasting time, let's get started. Before we kick start, please do continue to support me by liking, commenting, sharing on the videos. Also, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. All right, so following is the playlist we have created so far in this series, around 41 episodes I've already covered. Each and every feature, every functionality is being covered in detail. So make sure that you go through each one of these uh, tutorials in order to completely learn and master Angular. Today we are learning about router outlet. As part of routing, there are a lot of use cases around routing. I'm trying to cover each one of them. I'll start with the most important thing I always tell you about routing. That is the breaking changes, which is <coughs> till Angular 16, you would find yourself having app routing module <coughs> at the app level. But from Angular 17 onwards, you don't have the routing module file. Instead, we have something called app routes.ts. That's the default one in Angular 17 onwards. However, that being said, you can still use router module as part of the modules that I'm, I'll be covering in the next episodes or so. But for today, understand that we have app routes.ts file. Now talk, let's talk about router outlet. Router outlet is a directive that serves the, as a placeholder for dynamically loading components based on the current route, which means Angular dynamically will decide where to show the component. It enables Angular's router to render different components depending on the application's navigation state. We can also have multiple router outlets. <coughs> now let's get into code and We'll take a look in deep dive. <coughs> so when you expand the project folder, we are building a crew management system as part of this project in and learning Angular 17. I explore the source folder. You will see the app component. Go into the app component. Go to app component dot HTML. You will see a very, very important thing, which is router hyphen outlet. It is mandatory to have at least one router outlet okay so which means that every angular application should have a router outlet because that is where the components will be loaded let me show you by example let's get this started ng serve while it's building take a minute to please like and subscribe to my channel all right the application is running on localhost 4200 let's go ahead launch it now whenever we go to any component the component gets displayed in the page but if you open and do inspect you would see under body app root you would see router outlet so that means that is how angular will dynamically know where to inject the component okay so now let's go back to our routing which is app routes.ts i told you there is no app routing module in angular 17 in the last episodes, we created a simple component, added a route, which is crew profile. Let's go ahead and type that now. Crew profile. So you see the output, which is welcome to crew profile management. Now, when you do a inspect, you will see that app crew profile is the sibling of router outlet. Okay. So that's how Angular will know where to load. And then it will load the component as a sibling. That is not inside router outlet, but outside. Now, that's how router outlet is loading the component. Now, let's say we have multiple router outlets. Router outlet 
now I have two router outlets you can give a name let's say let's call it um, secondary you can give any name you want primary secondary user whatever profile whatever you want to name it <coughs> the idea is you can have more than one router outlets in any component not only in app component but you can have it in anywhere in the application now I have two router outlets I'll go back to my app routes and I can specify which outlet I want the data to go to now I'm saying when you when we launch crew profile it should go to the router outlet secondary which is by the name secondary okay remember that this doesn't have name this has name now go to your application inspect and again type crew profile and now it's giving error because it didn't match it so what we're going to do is change the path and move the location or you can make it so let's go ahead and type crew profile still it's not taking so let's give another name and see maybe that name is conflicting and type primary and let's type crew profile alright so now we see it's working so I've given the name primary now you can see here there are two router outlets router outlet and router outlet name equal to primary angular has decided that this component should be rendered after the named component primary that's why it is coming after this router outlet okay so the idea is router outlet is used to determine where the components will be injected okay you can have more than one outer outlet you can have named router outlets and in the routes you can mention the name of the outlet where you want the data to be displayed this is especially helpful when you are working with the parent child parent child relationship screens or views in a single page let's say you are in a dashboard you have a multiple tabs which are going to child routes that's where you can use router outlets that I'm going to cover it in the next episode so stay tuned for that I hope the concept of router outlet is clear to you I hope you will now be able to answer you will have a strong understanding of what is router outlet how does it work in the next episode I'll talk about router link these are all the foundation and the basic um, <coughs> I would say basic uh, knowledge that everybody should have especially when you're working with angular that being said thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode we'll continue to learn about routing next episode we'll learn about router link thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode